Hi, hello. Today we're going to talk about Helvetica. Halo semua. Ya, jadi mulai uh, kali ini aku sama Dila bakal coba bikin videonya pakai bahasa Inggris. Jadi, di openingnya pakai bahasa Inggris karena hari ini mau mulai coba bikin video pakai bahasa Inggris. Jadi uh, mohon dukungannya terus ya. <laughs> Jadi mulai lagi. Today we're going to talk about. I'm going. Actually, I'm going to talk about a little bit about Helvetica. So the other day, I got an assignment to make a poster. Uh, like it's a typography poster, and you have to make a poster about a font or a type. And the type I got was. Uh, Helvetica! Um, yay! It is quite a famous type, but um, I'll talk a little bit about the history anyway. And here it is. Uh, Helvetica is a uh, sans serif, and it's, uh, it's one of the Swiss typography developed in 1957 by Max Metinger with Edward Hoffman. So yeah, it's a, a part of a Swiss typography and Swiss typography emphasized on readability, objectivity and cleanliness. So you could see that um, it's a sans serif and it doesn't have the ends on, the, on each of the characters and it's very clean and it gives a really modern feel about it. And Helvetica is originally called I can't spell it, it's you know, it has grotesque and but it was changed to Helvetica. It was changed into Helvetica to make it more marketably internationally. And for just a fun fact, Helvetica means Swiss in Latin. So yeah, that's a bit about the history of Helvetica and yeah, made a poster about it and the one thing I was interested in when I was making this poster is how with all the types and all the different fonts nowadays how could you um, how could you differentiate between Helvetica and the other sans serif that is not Helvetica I was always wondering about that so I did a bit of a little bit of research <laughs> And I would like to share a few uh, of what I found here in my videos. There are a few uh, sans serif fonts that look similar with Helvetica, and uh, one of the similar ones is Arial. Arial is um, it's usually incorporated in the in a Microsoft uh, computers. So usually, I assume that <laughs> most of the people. Uh, most of the people already know about Arial, and whereas Helvetica is usually incorporated in the uh, in Apple Apple softwares in the Mac, iOS, and those, and so you could always see it in the iPhones and iPads and well the Mac computers. So they look really similar. How could you differentiate between the two of them? They look similar in a glimpse, but actually they have a few uh, different things. So, the one thing I find really useful to differentiate between Helvetica and Arial is when you see the end of the strokes of Helvetica, they're usually cut either vertically or horizontally. Whereas in Arial, it's usually cut a bit diagonally, it's a bit slanted, and I find that really useful because it's in the most, it's in the most uh, characters of the type, and it's such an easy way to find out if the font is Helvetica or not. But of course, there's still uh, other. There are also other <laughs> characters that look similar. So if you can look for a big, a capital G in Helvetica. It has a well-defined spur at the end, at the bottom of the capital G. There's a there's a line going down, whereas in 
Arial, they don't have it. And the other one that I find really useful is to look for a capital R, is to look for a capital R of Helvetica. And you realize, if you put it side by side with the Arial one, you realize that Helvetica's R is a bit more upright, and the line down is a bit upright, whereas in Arial it goes really diagonal. And that's really different and that's really useful to see if the font is Helvetica or not Helvetica. And yeah, that's are the most things I find useful to differentiate between Helvetica and Arial. But I know it's a bit hard, but now I think that you could you could understand a little bit or you could differentiate a little bit more between Helvetica and the other sans serfs. These are the widely used fonts and I just thought it must be quite useful and fun if you could kind of see a font somewhere when you're just walking down the road or something and then you see a sign and then you could see if that oh I wonder what font what type is it written in or something like those and it's just quite fun to do that. And Havitika is used widely in company names and logos and brands and everywhere. So it's just it's just quite fun to know if it what font is it. So yeah, and that's all about Helvetica today and I hope it could be quite useful. So yeah, and so we'll see you again next week with another different topic. So bye bye. There are also there are also others. Um other things to okay and there is one more type I would like to talk about other than having other than an aerial that looks like how this guy's